Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have a rising OS based on Android 16 and this is an official ROM for this device. I have been using this ROM few days now and it's working pretty well for an initial build. So setting and if I show you about phone. As you can see here, rising OS official version and this one is V8.0 and the other specification of the device. And if I show you Android version, you can see here. So as for Android 16 based ROM, this is doing pretty well. The notification panel and control panel, whatever you say. So it is here and it looks good. And I really like the way it looks. So in terms of Wi-Fi network and Bluetooth, Bo LTE, Bo Wi-Fi, everything is working well. No issue at all. I haven't faced any issue. We do have personalized section here for customization and in the lock screen option we do get now bar option so as you can see here now bar option is available and there are a few other customization options available here one thing which is not good about this rom is aod so if you use aod this is not for you because aod is a little laggy sometimes the touch does not work if you turn on aod so don't turn on aod and other things are here like theme section is available Toolbox option is a Bible. So in the toolbox, we do get few other features like in the extra features, we get AI Assistant, Risa, and few other things are here like game space, RAM boost, sidebar. So sidebar is working well, no issue as you can see here. If I open it, a little slower sidebar working actually. So as you can see, sidebar is working. And smart pixel, smart power off so these are the things the bible navigation security spoofing so we do get a lot of spoofing option as you can see here pixel props google apps spoof play store spoof google photo spoof a lot actually clock face and everything a bible here and there are a few other options available so in terms of customization you are getting a lot of customization here and you can change up to your liking app section as you can see here we do get clone apps option game space assistant cloud media apps sidebar options and other options are here notification nothing new here in terms of sound and vibration no issue and we do get few other things here like part app volume control and live caption smart pause these are the things available here Mode section is available. Display section we do get adaptive brightness working well, no issue at all. And few other things are available here. So double tap to work and double tap to sleep working, no issue. As you can see, working well. In the wallpaper and style section, more wallpaper. So we do get AI wallpaper here and emoji workshop. So all these things are available and all the wallpapers are available here. More lock screen option. We do get other options here, and also AOD option is available. So AOD option is a little bit buggy, so don't use that. Other things are pretty much similar. In the system setting, we do get few things here like language, buttons, keyboard, gesture, USB configuration, and Xiaomi parts option is available. So you can calibrate the display and the speaker setting. All those things are available. Security, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock and the fingerprint unlock is working well, no issue at all. I did try that, so as you can see here, pretty fast and no issue at all. And in the mode security setting, we do get few other things like extended unlock, Android safe browsing, theft protection, device admin and all other things are available here. Privacy option is available. Location is working well, no issue. And that's all what we are getting. Although the UI is a little bit choppy outside, but you can turn off the animations to get better experience out of this ROM. So you can turn off the animations, but the animations are not really bad. Sometimes it feels laggy, but most of the time it's okay, no issue at all. 
In terms of application, we do get MIUI camera here, and I did try that. So, like the ultra wide lens and 48 megapixel, everything is working well, no issue at all. So the camera is working well and I did install Gcam, which is also working. So in terms of camera, no issue. Other application like, I did install few application here. But it was pretty clean actually and I did install like Google Photos. So we do get Google Photos unlimited storage, as you can see here. What's surprising is that uh, the magic editor is gone, but now it is enhanced and the UI looks good as you can see here. Now we can directly circle and like if I go to enhance section. So there are tons of options right now available. So if I, as you can see here, uh, tap, circle and brush select, all these things are available right now. A little bit slower side because these are not meant for this device, but it's still working. So I can erase, reimagine option also available and imagine works, but not really that good. So as you can see here, magic eraser is working and move so working well no issue at all and the, i do like this ui actually it looks good everything is available here and in terms of phone call i did try phone call here bo lt and bo wi-fi working and call recording is also working so if i show you recent calls as you can see here test call three and listen recording So call recording is working well, no issue. And WhatsApp is also working. And in terms of Google Play Protect certification, we don't really get that. And almost most of the ROM don't really come with the Google Play Protect certification right now. You can fix this issue, but a little bit difficult side. So as you can see here, so bank apps not going to work. WhatsApp is working well. I did try phone call and working well, no issue at all. And other features like we do get circle to search slow but working so the search is working and fm ready is working well no issue at all we do get few applications as you can see here rising walls for wallpapers and also accord for music so this is mp3 player which came with this rom and working well actually in terms of gaming this is actually not really a gaming ROM or anything like that, but the gaming performance was good, not really extraordinary. I did get better experience out of few other ROMs, maybe running on Android 13 and 14. Android 15 and 16, the gaming experience is not really that good like 14 and 13. Anyway, the gaming performance is good and if you want to install this ROM for gaming also, you can try it, no issue at all. So. As far as my testing goes, everything is working well. I haven't faced any major issues here, obviously. As I said, safety net is not available and other things are working well. Although I did not talk about battery section, the battery is good, battery backup is good, no drain issue or anything like that, but fast charging is still not working well here. I did see that like it is going up to 2.4 amp, not really 3 amp, like not full flash 18 watt charging. It is going 12, 13 watt. So that's kind of good, better than the other ROMs. So that's also good actually. So if you want to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. I will see you in the next one.